going back to our car. <laughs> they both look fucking weird. You see the black tag? Nah. Where was it? He was on the shoulder. Oh, was it? He was going to be a car. Oh, okay. Might go to ten. Arise in the park, but this is not your rest because it's polluted. And everything. This. This one. Everything. Mental, physical, religious, spiritual. Everything's fucking polluted. Man. Everything is fucking polluted. So this I destroy you, even with the sword destruction. Slow help. Slowly pass. Motherfuckers talking about uh, my, my, my grandma, my, my granddad, my mom and dad been doing it for years and they know when they grow old, sick as fuck, you know, constantly going to the doctors, taking fucking medications, man. Dumbasses. Not, right, everybody got diabetes now. It's everybody. And that's common as fuck that diabetes, man. That's it's right. more common amongst women that got diabetes. Yeah. Fucking fat ass, man. I ain't got no sympathy for these people. <laughs> None. If you're not taking care of yourself, I, don't, I got no sympathy look, 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 for you. Look, look, look. Right. That's, a health That's who's going to take care of you. Right. The guy that can't take care of himself. Pile. See how the spirit works, man? That's pile. A health care worker needs health care. He needs, he needs immediate assistance and stand himself. They be having doctors in there taking cigarette breaks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dope breaks. Yeah, dope. Oh, you know, they dope all dope up. Oh, because they all super friendly. That's right. Ain't nobody that goddamn friendly. That's right. They are high on that shit. That's he right. getting high on his own supply. And that's another thing, too. The main thing, like I said, it's all about prop. What is It's just a part of the agenda that slowly exterminates all. But these doctors, they get paid to prescribe you these drugs. So, so the more people they put on Oxycontins, the more money they make. You know what I mean? They, they, they the biggest dope pushers on the street. That's sick. And that's the reason they lock uh, so-called black people up in jail for selling drugs, because you're affecting their business. You, you, you're cutting in on their pot. They ain't allowing that. But they'll have a CVS and a Walmart on every corner selling drugs, se selling uh, pain pills, getting everybody throw toed. Oh, they can do that. But let's see, uh, one of y'all sell drugs on the street. Y'all ass is going to jail. And you're going you to get locked up in a private prison that's making profit off of your slave labor. Because in America, there's over 2,500,000 people locked up in prison. So slavery ain't never went away. They lock you up in prison for this bullshit, and they get free slave labor out of you. That's a fact. I believe it's the Constitution right or something. It's like you said, if you go to jail, you actually live in your slave. Yeah, you're a slave. So how is slavery over if you got 2,500,000 people in prison? That's a whole god. That's a whole damn country. Yeah, you're just like the military go and go to the military and go to jail and pop the other state. Man. Yeah, you're like the military. You pop the other government. You pop the other state. Man. Yep. You're no longer an actual citizen. No more. They tell you that too. Yeah. yeah. So you're property of the state. Yeah. That's crazy as hell. That's why, because my sister, my when my sister just get locked up, that's what they told us. She oh. said, uh, she's. In, I forget what they had a certain word for it. But man, people can keep living in fantasy land all they want. Oh, we're free. You yeah, ain't fucking free. Okay. No, that's, that's, that's what they're supposed to do. Yeah. <laughs> that's that strong delusion. Yeah, no, it's just not that's the okay, the Lord gave him a strong delusion. And all of us, we all got family that's locked up too. When's the last time you seen your cousin or your uncle? You know what I mean? Been locked up. He will leave a lot. I've never ever seen an example of your enemy actually having your best interest in his heart. I've never ever seen that. Never, not one fucking time. They will actually go protest to make the courts try to help them. The court is not there to help you. The court is there to lock you up. That's what they're there to do. They're there to take away your freedom. They're not there to lock you. You know, they're not there to help you. The cops ain't here to help you. The cops is here to shoot you. Y'all seen, uh, oh, well, we already brought this out, but uh, what's that called? The Franklin County Jail, right here downtown at the courthouse. They're under an international investigation for torturing prisoners. 
got something? I should get a. I got something. So if you don't believe the truth, if you don't believe in the words of this Bible, you're damned. You're condemned. Okay? That's just the fact. You can't argue with that. You know what I mean? If you don't believe in the truth, you're condemned. You're damned. Well, you damn you straight to hell. You know? That's a good scripture right there. They're damned. Some damned heathens. They damned. Your wives damn, your children's damn. Your mama, your little aunts, little your little babies. Right, because if you don't believe, say you got children. If you if you got children, a man is uh, responsible for his children. Okay, so if you don't believe, not only are you going to be punished, your children's going to be punished right along with you. And your wife, your whole family. The Lord destroy all y'all with no mercy and no love will be shown. Because if y'all didn't know, God, he loves and he hates. He makes alive and he kills. What you got? This is, uh, I was about to look for it time. It's, uh, Isaiah 14 and 17. That made the word as a wilderness and destroyed the city of the world. That opened not the house of the prison. All right, that's talking about uh, Lucifer. <laughs> that's the fake Lucifer. Right, he don't open the house of the prison. You know? Hey, get that. Uh, you got more of that? Look at Revelation 2 and 10. Revelation 2. Revelation 2 and 10, it says. Hey, and this proves right here that a white man is the devil. It yeah. says, Fear not those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death. I would give you a crime of life. Yeah, that's actually talking about us getting locked up for teaching the word, but and that applies to this devil, though. It, it, who's locking everybody up in prison? And that also proves the devil right there is not talking about Satan. I had to say something. Uh oh. -uh. What's up, bro? My name is Jerome. I'm going to sit over here. I'm going to let you know how you got in town. I've been about six days in Detroit, Michigan. I'm homeless. I'm going to sit right here. I'm going to call Nick here. Uh, yeah. I mean, the, the Lord said what? If the wine is his blood. So, there it is. You can toss one back. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go back to my office. Right here. I got my pill in here. I'll talk to you. We ain't going nowhere. Hey, you know what? Yep. Take your time, man. Yep. Hey, the scriptures do say what? Get strong drink and the hand is ready to perish. Let him drink and remember his poverty no more. Yeah, the spirit, he just wanted to say what's up, you know? At first I thought he was going to say something crazy. I want to know. Oh, God. I pray the Lord, he rains it out again this year. Every time this time again, free weird shit. Yeah, the roaches get real bad in the summertime, don't they? And the, the roaches love the heat. Then the last gay pride that got rained out, didn't it? Remember that one that got rained out all three days? Oh, yeah. Oh, what's up? They got us. Fear none of those things. Oh, they're gonna rock him. Oh, shit. 
Oh. Douchebag Jesus. numero uno. Where's his camp at? Where are you choosing? No, that, he has a scoff. He tells him, Paul, why, why do you guys hate people and talk to people so badly? The Lord is pissed off. He pissed off somebody. He ain't gonna talk about him. I'm mad. I'm not getting fucked about your feelings. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck your feelings. The Lord does not care about your feelings, man. He was extremely pissed off. Do you think you're thinking about I'm gonna send y'all, but speak nice. Oh, you know what? Since you said that, I was. Let me get this. What do you think a man feels when he's burning you up? He's not happy. 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 He's I'm not sure, and I'm sure that most, and God, my Almighty, is not happy with what you're saying. Now you're bringing it out. You just can't, can't respond to them all the time. Man. Sometimes you just go. gotta ignore them. I be doing that a lot of times. You gotta just ignore them. I just Damn. let you go. It's like when you see we out there fishing, and you can see it's a carp. You ain't catching no carp. Yeah, goddamn alligator. You ain't catching that. Yeah, they love some cars, some catfish. <laughs> that catfish meat, you see the nasty little Man. veins in the way. Oh, that's some sick shit. Smell like the Israelite woman's pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn right, damn right. So it's just like... <laughs> shit. It's been, and they got that thing called getting catfish, too. You know that? Hey, let me read this right quick. Uh, Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to the rebellious children Say to the Lord that take counsel, but not of me. Oh, yeah, they was taking counsel of them Edomites over there. They listen to them. They gonna listen to us. They got a big crowd, bro. They have all oh, oh, bleachers out there. They, they have bleachers. Was it coffees? Oh, it's crosses with, oh, with all the. It's got Muslim symbols, fucking Buddhist symbols. They saying all religions coming together. If we let some shit out there, we get fine. Oh, you're probably right. I bet they are. They're probably marching around. Yeah. Little, little tiny ones. Hell yeah. I've seen them too. Woe to the rebellious children, save the Lord, that take counsel not of me, and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And that's what these fools out here, they ain't trying to listen to the Lord. What are they following their own heart? Well, I don't believe what y'all saying is right. We don't, it don't matter what you believe, bro. <laughs> They'll walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked in my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. And now... Uh, you a Hindu and Spanish? What's your nationality? I would just read the scripture for me. Let me read, I got something for you. I'll go ahead. Uh, Jeremiah 17 and 9. The heart is deceitful above all things yeah. and desperately wicked who can know it. That's what, look at these freaking weirdos. Oh, this is weird shit left and right, bro. Why are out there preaching the word of the Lord with those false prophecies? Just have fun. Watch the heart. Yeah, the Bible says the heart is deceitful above all things. And really, the heart in Hebrew is la'ah, which means your mind. So what's your thoughts, your thoughts that you got, your own personal thoughts are wicked. You're supposed to follow the Lord's thoughts and the Lord's way and His commandments. The Lord did not give us feelings and uh, emotions to follow. He gave us laws and commandments. And these people out here, they deal with emotions. Come up here all emotional like a, like in a woman, you know? You're supposed to follow the commandments, not your heart. You got more than we continue on this. Now let me skip down to uh, Isaiah 30 and 9. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that would not hear the law of the Lord. Like we told that whole crowd of people, you know, it's wrong to eat pork. The law said don't eat pork. The law said don't be a homosexual. The law said don't commit adultery. Okay, that's the law. 
But our people there want to hear the law. They want to do their own thing, do what they think is right. Which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto his right things, speak unto his smooth things, prophesy deceit, get you out of the way, turn the side of the path, cause the Holy One in Israel to cease from before us. But uh, what was he saying? They always trying to, because we tell them America's going to be destroyed. I'm like, America's a great country. How could you say that? You know, they say everything we say is wrong. They want to hear them soft, smooth words. What, what is that scripture, Romans 16, say about this? All right. Uh, it's uh, Proverbs 3 and uh, uh, 5. It says, trust. Yeah, that's the first one Yeah, trust in the power. No, it's it. Uh, trust in Yahweh with all thine heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. Oh, that's a good word. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Be not wise in thy own eyes, fear Yahweh, and depart from evil. That's why he sent the men of the Lord out here to teach you that exact thing, the righteous, right fucking way to go, right now. Which we're leading you to seek out the old ways, you know, the ancient ways, you know, which this world totally rejects, you know, totally fucking rejects. We sit out here to lead you, to teach you the, the difference between the clean and unclean, holy and unholy. You know, what does scripture say? Uh, the, 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 uh, the clean and the, something about the profane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that they say. Pretty much the profane, yeah. yeah. People are just leading blindly, man. They're just blindly walking, man. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're just fucking doing it. Blindly, the blind. Yeah. The scripture say they all fucking fall into a, a damn picture. Pit through a spice and snakes. That's that body. <laughs> okay, yeah, read that. Yeah, lost souls. That's we in the land of lost souls. Something like that. If you ain't lying. Romans 16 and 17, Now beseech the brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. Right, so anybody that come out here and teach anything contrary to what we do, we're going to mark them. We're going to condemn them. We're going we're gonna to curse them out. Just like we curse them clowns out. And we is not scared. You come up here talking that bullshit, you're getting cursed out. Go ahead. It says, for they, it's like for they, and our such serve not our Lord and our shot my shot. What? Like what? Your own self. Yeah, right. That's going back to your heart, your own heart. All they care about is themselves and they like what they do. They don't care about the laws and commandments of the Lord. Go ahead. It says, and by good word and fair speech and deceit the hearts of the simple. Right, like these clowns out here protesting. They up there giving these fair speeches. Speaking on elephants. They ain't gonna use but we use one cuss word, people say we're evil. I mean, fuck these people, bro. I hate these people. Hey, let me redirect this, this little piece right here. Isaiah 30 and 12. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One in Israel, because you despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon, Therefore, this iniquity shall be to use a breach ready to fall, strung out on a high wall, this breaking coming suddenly at an instant. So, these people, they trust in their oppressors, don't they? They, they trust the cops, you know? They trust in these wicked-ass laws. They trust in this wicked government. They, they constantly protest and going to the government, asking them to save you, when they're the ones that got you in this predicament. Get the fuck out of here, man. That's why, to know who the is. right? That's why we don't take y'all people serious out here. Are right, we supposed to take y'all serious or something? Proverbs twenty six and twenty five. When he speaketh fair, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in this heart. Right. You, well, you, that's why most of these preachers they got to speaking all fair. You know, speaking. Oh, God loves you. He loves all His children, and just all this lovey dovey nonsense. That's a person you need to run away from. It's false visions. False visions. It's, it's, it's non prophecies. It's preaching the prosperity doctrine. It speaks fairly. 
Uh, and everybody give him a round of applause. Give him a standing ovation. He's such a great man of God. Helicopter crashes, that'd be good too. One of them cranes fall down. Just splatted Israelite woman. Get splatted. Well, we're quick, but they'll say we're immoral because what we call faggots, faggots. And we don't accept facts. They'll say that's Im that will call us evil. Because yeah. they, they done turned good and uh, evil and evil into good. It's just all, yeah. Well, go ahead. I see a cat, i say that's a cat. I see a faggot, I'm say that's a faggot. Yeah. yeah. Says when did you call a faggot something else beside a faggot? Yeah, right. No, no, that doesn't they say you can't even use the word homosexual. Homo. Well, see that shit in California to pass that law. Motherfuckers got to register their goddamn Bibles and shit as well. Man. That's real, too. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's real. real. That is real. Um, let me read this from Isaiah 3 and 9. Show up their countenance and duck witness against them. And they declare their sin and sorrow. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have reported evil. Right, they don't have to hide it. Well, sodomite, that's a, that's a word, that's a homosexual. That's the real word for homosexual. Homosexual, that's some new shit they came up with. The Bible calls them sodomites. A sodomite's a faggot. And the Lord said they count as witness against them, meaning they walk down the street proud to be a faggot. When did it become cool to be proud to be a faggot? When did that become cool? Well, that's just the truth. And now they're going to try. Oh, y'all can't say that. I thought we had freedom of speech. So fuck y'all. We don't care. We say what the fuck. We we gonna say the Lord commanded us to say this. And we out here to offend y'all, cause y'all offensive. These people, they, I remember that one black mentor, whatever fuck she was, bought, bought them crowds and shit. They was making fun of another like uh, this, that, and third. We can y'all, we can call y'all, we can't call y'all name, trying to call his name. Exactly. Yeah, like. Like, that's Just like them protesters, that one week we cussed them out. Yeah. They, they start calling us racist. Yeah. But here it is, let me check our skin color. Oh, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. We look, he's a so-called black guy, I'm a so-called white guy. We're both Israelites though. But they don't know that. Yeah. And, and they was calling us racist. So how does that make any sense? See, that was his fault too, because the only thing he said was the real Jews are black or something I like that. I said the real Jews are black. And he got mad, like, we don't know, something like that. Then we started getting back at him. So that's still, a lot of times, these motherfuckers just, they're just unreasonable people. They want to unreasonable. call us evil and shit. They're the ones that started it. Yeah, yeah they're the ones that started it. Because they was out there. Same shit they get to you. Because they was out there protesting the state of Israel. So, hey, what, we was there with you. The real Jews are black. Oh, now we're racist. See, that's because that's.